Hi there, how's everyone going? Where I've been living it's been uh, pretty lousy. Wind and rain, wind and rain, never seems to stop. So I had to find something to do for those weekend winter moments when you just have to come out to the shed to escape. And I got myself this little guy here. This is an E32. It's made by a company called DTRC. Overall length of the boat is 910 and it's about 235 wide, I think. It's fiberglass. I got it on our second hand shop, from a second hand shop, and as far as I know, it's been on the water once and overheated. So I picked it up with a burnt out motor. Anyway, I'm up here and have a look. I took the motor out and replaced it with a Sea King. Uh, what have we got? She's a Sea King 3180KV four pole. So hopefully that should be powerful enough to get this thing going. Why it overheated, I think, is because it's got a very small intake of water on both sides here and it just couldn't get enough water in there. The previous owner said that he had it running for 20 minutes and it was running really good and then it seemed to have smoke coming out of the hatch and when he, when he opened it up and he couldn't even touch the motor, it was so hot. But to eliminate that, what I've done is I've added in my own little water pump over here. Um, it didn't cost much at all. The whole setup, including a switch here, cost about $30. And I mounted it on a bit of styrene over there and it's, it's held in by these big cable ties over here. And the siren just takes the vibration out and keeps the pump off the bottom of the sponsor so it won't get in the water at all. Um, instead of having my pickup here, like I said, I actually changed the whole lot and put my own little pickup here on the back of the stern so it goes in the water and draws water up here. It runs off its own little two cell battery. I didn't want to interfere with the main power source of the boat. I tried to receive a switch and I burned it out so I gave up on that. Um, and the other thing, I was a little bit dubious of trying it on the BEC just in case if you had to bring it in at really low speed and low voltage it might be too much for it working the pump and the boat at the same time. So I put its own little two cell pack in here, run a little alarm on there to let me know if the battery is getting flat. And so far it seems to be working really well, I'll show you how it runs. Well, she's a bit low on water there, we'll just get that going there. Look at that. Everything seems nice and cool. ESC is nice and cool. Motor jacket, there's no leaks. All honky dory. Okay. So I've run this for, I ran it for 35 minutes on a swimming pool and there was no sign of any cutout on the alarm. The pump never overheated or anything. Everything worked fine. So for the sake of 30 bucks, it might be some good insurance to keep this boat nice and cool. I've also added in my custom little aerial like I do, the top of a small transistor radio. Certainly looks a little bit better than a piece of wire. And I, I used a little um, push rod boot here. And I put that on there and sealed it all up so it's nice and tight. And now it looks good. Added in a couple of little nice trim tabs on the back. Just to take out any low cavitation so I can get it up on the plane as quick as we can. And it's a funny thing, these boats, they don't have any seals in the hatch. You just put the hatch on, apparently, and just tape it up. But uh, I'm not over keen on that, so I added in some marine seal in here and a little plate and resined in a very strong slot car magnet. I mean, they're very strong, these magnets. And if we look at this now, it just centers down there, holds the hatch really tight. And I also added in these little tight screw downs, I mean, which screw down hold everything nice and firm and it should be able to get a good seal on here so hopefully this should be quite a fast hopefully reliable cat it's my first fiberglass one so I'm, I'm quite interested in how it does perform on the water and when the weather gets better and uh, not so lousy I'll take it out to the lake and, and take a shot of it and show you guys how it runs so till then catch you later